Hey everyone, Tony Dodds for Learn WPT here, and today we are going to do a video that is an extension in our series on tendencies and exploits, but this time having to do with live reads and tags. And I want to begin with a disclaimer. Historically, I have been a little reluctant to talk about live tells in strategy videos because I think that early on in the evolution of poker strategy in the online era, if you watch the old broadcast of that time, or you watch any uh, films or TVs, por por TV broadcast portraying poker, you see this overemphasis on the importance of live tells and live reads to the detriment, I think, of picking up on the patterns and tendencies of your opponents. I think that with live reads and tells, there is a tendency towards confirmation bias in seeing what you want to see and then carrying out the plan that's a little easier in your mind or lets you put chips in or lets you see cards. Uh, and I think that live tells can be very noisy and unreliable. Um, so. My disclaimer is that anything having to do with live reads, you should consider as sort of the secondary piece of information beyond what the betting patterns and fundamental strategy of the situation would dictate. However, of course, there's still some really important aspects to live reads, and even some things you will see that can be very consistent. So, without Further delay, let's dive in to our eight live reads and tells. Many of them are going to be physical, some of them will be verbal. But number one, we have loading the cards in the hand to fold. Now, this is one of my favorites because it is probably of everything I have here the most reliable and the most common. Something you will see if you are observant of the players around the table is many players do not wait until the action is on them before they look at their cards. And some of those players, when they don't have a playable hand, will literally prepare their cards to fold by loading them into their hand. They'll put it into their hand, ready to flick into the muck, or they'll position them in a certain way in front of their chips or sort of put their hand over them, where if you watch, you realize that almost every single time when they load the cards into their hand or put the cards in a certain place, they intend to fold. And so you get this really valuable piece of information about how many players behind you are going to enter in the pot or how likely they are to enter in the pot. So a simple example of how this comes into play is you're on the hijack. It folds to you with a hand that might be right at the border of your open raising range. And then you look to your left and see that the player on the button has loaded their cards into their hand in expectation of folding when the action is on them. Well, now you're essentially playing a cutoff opening range and all of those marginal hands become very clear opens. And the counter to this is sometimes you'll see players who do this so consistently that the few times they don't load their cards in preparation of folding, you know they have something playable, something they intend to enter the pot with. And now you need to constrict the range of hands that you are going to open the pot with because you're really confident that they have something playable behind them. So, you know, this is something that tends to happen a little more at the amateur or intermediate levels, but still, even in like WPT main events, 3.5Ks, 5K events, you will see this tell if you pay attention. So, that's number one. Number two is... Uh...